Happy Tuesday! I love Tuesdays because hmm, I just do. I just love Tuesdays almost as much as I love you, but I, I know that I love you guys more than Tuesdays. That's a fact. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start our lesson for today in math. So we are about to be on a lesson from chapter 14 and then lesson 5, so 14.5. Let's go ahead and warm up our brains though. You're gonna see how amazing of an artist I am. I mean, I know you guys already know that about me, um, that I am not only a teacher, but I'm also an amazing artist. So this, my friends, is going to be a pie. Let's put some little things at the top. Okay, so this has this is a little apple pie and it's in a little pan, okay? This is a whole apple pie, okay? Like if you're looking down on it. This is a whole apple pie. Now watch this. This is a set of apple pies, okay? This is a set of whole apple pies. So this is a whole apple pie, and this is a set of apple pies. So let me ask you this. I just had some Oreos after lunch, and I have Oreos on my mind. So I'm gonna draw an Oreo, okay, Oreo. Is this a whole Oreo or is this a set of Oreos? Good job. This would be a whole Oreo. Now, what about this? Um, I'm looking over at Jake on his cat bed and he's stretching and he loves cat treats. So I'm thinking about cat treats now. So I'm going to draw a couple cat treats. I'm telling you guys, I'm an excellent artist. That's all I know. That's all I know. Do you guys agree with me? Yes, Miss Cantrell, you're the best artist ever. <laughs> okay, so here are Jake's cat treats. Is this one whole cat treat? Or is this a set of cat treats? Good job. This is a set of cat treats. So I wanted you guys to get used to those words because you're gonna hear those today as we're learning um, because we are gonna be doing fractions as a whole or a set, okay? So this is a set when you have a group of them. And then a whole is if you have one whole that you can break up with fractions, okay? so. Let's go ahead and take a look at our student textbook 3B on page 149, okay? We're gonna look at the example together. Go ahead and turn to that page. You can pause the video if you need time. <clears throat> okay, so let's look at the top of our textbook page here. So it says there are four apples. Does everybody see that there are four apples? Now I know that they're different colors, but there are four apples. Three out of the four apples are red. Do you guys see that? Okay, so the question is, what fraction of the apples are red? Well, you have three that are red. So three is gonna go into your numerator. See that on the bottom there? Okay, and then you have four apples in your set, so you're gonna put your four down at the bottom in your denominator. So this group of apples is a set. That's not one whole apple. Do you guys see that? The fractions that we've been working on so far in third grade are fractions from a whole. Okay, but now we're gonna start looking at fractions as sets. So let's take a look in our textbook at the picture of the flowers. I'm gonna see if you guys can get that, okay? Let's look at this one right here. So the first question says, well, let's read the top. 
There are 10 flowers. Let's go over there and count just to make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good. There's 10 flowers. What fraction of the flowers are red? Well, I know that my denominator needs to be 10 because I have 10 flowers total. Okay, so now I've got to go over there and I've got to count how many flowers are red. So let's see. One, two, three, four, and five, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put five tenths for that one, for number one. All right, I want you to pause and I want you to try number two and three. Okay, so for number two, it says what fraction of the flowers are purple? Well, I still have 10 as my denominator because that's how many flowers I have. Now for purple flowers, let's count them. One, two, good job. So your fraction's gonna look like this, two tenths for number two. All right, then for number three, it says what fraction of the flowers are yellow? Well, what's my denominator, guys? John Thomas, Beatrice, Judd, what do you think? Yeah, 10, because I have 10 flowers. All right, so let's take a quick look. It says, what fraction of the flowers are yellow? So, John Thomas, how many flowers are yellow? Good job. I have three flowers that are yellow. Okay, so three tenths would be our answer for number three. Let's all take a look at number four because you didn't do that on your own. What fraction of the flowers are, oh, they're tricking us. What fraction of the flowers are not red? Oh, so am I gonna count the red ones, Judd? No, I'm gonna count all of the other colors. All right, let's go ahead and count those together. One, two, three, four, five. So Beatrice, what is my fraction going to look like? Good job. I have 10 flowers in all, and I have five flowers that are yellow and purple. So five flowers that are not red. Okay, so five tenths would be our answer for number four. Great job, you guys. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and flip our textbook page to 150. It looks just like this, okay? Oh, it's a little sunny right here, can you see? Good, okay. All right, let's take a look here with our apples. Here is a set of 12 apples. Do you guys see? We have 12 there, okay? The set of apples is divided into four equal groups. So you have four columns. So remember that's up and down. You have four columns there, four equal groups. Then it says three, let me see if I can get my marker here so I can do it. Three, one, two, three out of four, one, two, three, four of the apples are red. Do you see how three groups are red and one group is not? So this shows you that three-fourths is three out of four equal groups. What fraction of the apples are red? So three-fourths of the apples are red. You wouldn't say one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine twelfths are red. And can I show you a trick? If you did do that, you could simplify your answer and you could get three fourths. You could just divide by three. Nine divided by three is three, good job. 12 divided by three is four. Oh, look guys, it gave me three fourths. They really are equivalent. Um, but they're asking you to separate it into four groups. So that's why three fourths would be the answer for this and not nine twelfths, even though technically they are the same thing. Okay, let's look at our ducks down there at the bottom. 
So it looks like we have four yellow ducks. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six purple ducks. So the set of ducks is divided into five equal groups. Do you see that? One, two, three, four, five. So five would be in that blank for number five. Do you see? Okay, six. What fraction of the ducks are yellow? All right, well, I've got one column and I've got two columns. So that would be two out of the one, two, three, four, five columns of the ducks are yellow. See that? Now it's gonna ask the other part. What fraction of the ducks are purple? Well, let's look at that. One, two, three. Three out of the one, two, three, four, five groups are purple. So your answer is going to be three-fifths of the ducks are purple. Okay? All right, guys. Let's go ahead and do this. Today, doo -doo 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 -doo, I would like for you to, in your textbook, I'd like for you to try out page 152. 152, you're gonna have, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna have a question at the bottom and then this is gonna be your answer, all right? So read through that in your textbook. Um, get used to seeing things as a set and splitting them up into columns or groups. And then I would like for you to also complete student book page 153. Okay, pause the video. All right, and then this is what your answers will be for page 153 in your textbook. And remember, you can just do that um, on your whiteboard, you can do it on a piece of paper, um, it's up to you. And then in Seesaw, I have a section where you can do math notes also. It's up to you. Okay, guys, awesome job today. I'm gonna go ahead and um, look at a couple more problems that I'm gonna show you tomorrow. We're gonna keep working on fractions in a set so that we can get really used to this, okay? All right, guys, happy Tuesday. See you tomorrow.